it's Trisha again and um, I'm in New York. I should be in London. So my husband is 25 years older than me and his daughter's around my age. So I signed a prenup and he paid for the lawyer that did the prenup. And apparently there's some clause in this prenup that he's got, he's got a, a thing that he can throw me out in 30 days. But he has to have grounds for a divorce. So he has no grounds for a divorce, but he's still trying to throw me out of our apartment in 30 days for no reason. I don't know why. I said, Philip, would you please um, check out my prenup? What? Because when he dies, I get a pension of half a million a year for the rest of my life. And I get our apartment in Florida. So I said to him, what happens to my pension if you have a stroke? And he said, it kicks into my bank account. And I said, well, your daughters will be controlling the bank account because they get this apartment, the nine-room uh, Park Avenue apartment, and they get all his $60 million estate. So I said, would you please make sure it kicks into mine? Anyway, he wouldn't. He went to war with me, ended up in the Cindy Adams column. It was nasty. Then we had a truce, and now he's back doing the same thing. So I went off to London. I tried to start my life again, start my career again in London. He wants to give me nothing. This is the president of the Schubert organization. I am an idiot. I am the biggest effing idiot in the world. So, I'm in New York and I'm fighting. And, um, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I did my cards this morning. And I asked my Archangel Michael for help and victory! So, maybe I'll be all right. And I'm fighting back and I'm gonna do this video and I'll put it up on YouTube. In fact, I'm going to call him now and, um, oh, another thing, we never had sex. He said it was because he had high blood pressure and he was older than me and I accepted that. But then last year when we went through this, I found Viagra, porn movies and condoms. So maybe I should call him up and ask him, just tell him we're filming and ask him what he wants me to do with the condoms. But it'd be fun. All right, um, Philip's on a conference call. Yes. Um, I'm filming at the moment. We're doing a video for, for, uh, for YouTube. I don't know if you know, but you know, Philip and I never had sex, but he's got Viagra and condoms and stuff here and porn movies. Just ask him what he wants me to do with them. Would you? Wait, 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 wait. Mm? You want me to ask him this now? Yeah, yeah, just ask him what he wants me to do with the condoms and the, the porn movies and the Viagra. We're filming for YouTube. I've got a film crew here. We're in the kitchen. So, uh, does, he look, does he mind? Does he mind what I do with his condoms and stuff? We're just talking about, you know, the fact that there's no sex life. Okay. And then he's trying to throw me out of the apartment. And ask him if it's okay still if he's going to go to London. Because, you know, I should be in London selling tickets for, for um, addictions. Auction houses and everything to get. Um, the things for the house. So, uh, anyway, come through. This is um, the living room. I love that. Uh, just like a tapestry. She's got like a little Diamante bracelet on. I think it's really cute. Really like that. And uh, got the, you know, all this furniture I've, I got in Doyle's, Pepper Galleries. Boy, oh boy. Oh, this is our wedding album. Oh, here's Stritchy. <laughs> <laughs> Elaine Stritch is such a hoot. There's my mum, bless her soul. Um, Stritch was doing her, doing the whole uh, thing and, and made my mother do it. So mum's doing it and she's grinning her head off. You know, so happy days. This is Philip's oldest daughter. She's the evil one. She wants my pension. She's telling him what to do the whole time. She's a bad, bad, bad person. That's when we did the uh, reading at the Promenade Theatre addictions. Martha Plimpton was also in that. That's missing because... She hadn't been cast when my friend Bill Adams, who did the uh, the graphics, did that for me. Put winner, put it surprise for drama one day. And here's uh, this is my first play, Bonkers. And of course, you know, I have a lawsuit on that one too. TV series called Bonkers. So that's another thing that's going on as addictions, and that's me and my horror movie and Bonkers and stuff. Anyway, this is my favourite room. 
His complaint is the Cindy Adams column. Well, his lawyer, David Aronson, called up Cindy Adams. Actually, he said it was Shiresky called up Cindy Adams. And uh, she called me and told me that's how it got in that column. But he's putting all that blame on me. It's kind of denial. So, uh, so that's basically it. This is my home, or was my home, which uh, I'm being evicted from in this in 2008. Can you believe? Husband has no grounds for divorce, and he's trying to evict me for 750,000. I live, huh? Oh yeah, then he tried to hack my computer, I had to get the computer out of the house. I've had a really, you know, horrible few years. So, uh, oh well, kind of stupid. I can't believe that I was with a man who didn't sleep with me and I believed it was high blood pressure. Go figure. I mean, really, I'm really a schmuck. I've got to be the biggest schmuck going, huh? Bum, I'm going to be a warrior. I'm trying to be a warrior. Maybe I'll win. Maybe this time. Huh? I'll be lucky.